David Irving was once a respected World War II historian and author, but in the 1970s he began to express the view that the Holocaust, the slaughter of six million Jews by the Nazi regime, had not in fact happened. No credible or respectable academic has ever supported these views. Prominent Holocaust deniers have a lucrative speaking circuit, lecturing to people who, for one reason or another, have already convinced themselves that the Holocaust did not occur. People who hold this repugnant view become persona non gratis all around the world. Austria issued a warrant for Irving's arrest. Germany charged him with denigrating the memory of the dead. Canada kicked him out. In 1992, he sought to enter Australia to conduct some lectures. On his previous visit to Australia in 1986, he had tried to claim that the photographs taken in the concentration camps by Allied soldiers were proof that the Allies had conducted these murders. Australian migration law gives the minister the right to deny a visa to someone wishing to enter Australia if the minister considers that the person is not of good character. Now, generally, this is only used to prevent people who have serious criminal histories. On this occasion, though, the minister formed the view that Irving was likely to become involved in activities which would cause disruption to the Australian community, and that as a result, he was not of good character. Irving appealed, and one of the grounds of appeal was that the minister had considered evidence which the minister ought not to have considered. On this point, Justice Drummond said, a person charged with the task of making a decision can, in the absence of some statutory constraint, act on material that would not be evidence in the sense of material admissible according to the rules of evidence. He found that the decision maker could and indeed must consider evidence in the sense of material admissible according to the rules of evidence and also other material relevant to and logically probative of the matters upon which the decision-maker has to reach a conclusion. This case stands as authority that while the rules of evidence may be relevant to the probative value or persuasiveness of evidence, an administrative decision-maker is not limited to evidence which would be admissible in court. May all of those who died in the Holocaust rest in eternal peace.